Hello and welcome back, Faintly Saintly here, and this is Big Ambitions. And if you joined me last time, you'll know that this is Saintly Gifts, the shop that sells overpriced novelty mugs. So what have we achieved in this game of Big Ambitions? We've started a business. We've gone to business school and got a little management degree. We've just put on our first full-time staff member. There he is, Jason Jones. And uh, he'll be working at the gift shop uh, from Monday to Saturday, which will free me up to do all sorts of different things. Now, Uncle Fred has given me the objective of going to buy a cleaning station because the shop is filthy. Um, we're going to clean the floors. Because that's what all important entrepreneurs will do. I'm just going to run and try not to get run over. Rather than get the car, I'm um, going to get a trolley, I'm going to find the cleaning station. Which is... Am I blind? Um, is this the right shop? What am I looking for? Square appliances. Where I am? Cleaning station. Oh, is that it? Yes. There we go. I didn't get one. Did I get another shelf? Storage shelf might be handy for stock. And another display shelf. There was like curved shelves or something. Was that in this store? Bakery showcase, industrial bridge. Maybe I'm mistaken. In any case, let's move on. We'll get my furniture and we will run it back across this road back to Saintly Gifts, 50 meters away. So one thing we can also do is look at getting a part-time staff member even just to do the cleaning um, every day, which would be, you know, potentially the way to go. Otherwise, it's just on me because our current new employee uh, is already at his hourly limit if we want to keep him happy. Uh, I don't want to manage that storage. I want to pick up this and we've got the cleaning station. There. Get them up. Here we go. This is what it's all about, you know. Just because I'm the boss doesn't mean I'm too good to pick up a mop and clean up the people's filth that left on my floor. Look at that. Cleanliness 93 for 100%. There we go. Floors are looking good. <laughs> Make sure you keep them clean. You don't want the customers walking around in a dirty store, okay? All right. Now, okay. back to business. Maybe it's time to start looking for other opportunities. By any chance, have you noticed that people, your customers, are looking for something to drink? How about stocking a fridge or something like that with cans of soda? You can make some extra money on that. Seems fitting for a gift store. So we'll run back to Square Appliances. Where is my car, by the way? I do have a little car down the road in front of my house. Oh, that reminds me I'm starving. <laughs> That's right, we should be able to manage. Oh, it's closed. Alright, that's a job for tomorrow then. I will awkwardly sprint home for the time being. I really do enjoy these running animations. Oh, look at him go. Alright, and here we are, home. Uh, I'll eat some food, and I'll go to bed. Uh, so I wake up at... 8, I guess. My shop will be open by then. We'll have my employee on duty. That'll be great. Get some frozen food today. Get in the car. We've got a few stops to make today. I need to go get... 
the fridge and the stock. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, I'm driving here. Get out of the way. Oh, it's not open yet. It opens in an hour. Half an hour. Alright, I'll sit on this bench. I'm a man of the people. I will sit here and I'll talk to this gentleman. And say, what's going on, buddy? You've been sitting on this bench a while. Alright, so, drink fridge. This one. Thank you. Put that straight in the boot. Metro wholesale. Okay, so my car is fairly severely damaged. <laughs> uh, to say the least. So I do need to be careful. Though in this game you do need to pay for repairs and you do need to pay for fuel. So there are consequences to your actions. I'm hoping there's a park right out of the front. Looks like there is. I'll have to squish that guy. You have to be careful, you do get parking tickets if you're not parked properly, so hopefully I'm considered within the lines there. And I need to buy some soft drink or soda cans. Which are burgers, it's boxes of salad. Soda can. I'm gonna get two of them, but I'm also gonna get some more gifts. Because why not? I hope this will fit in the car. Oh, yeah, easy. Alright. Oh, Jesus. Okay, car's below 29%. <laughs> Might need to get that looked at uh, sooner rather than later. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. So there's my house, so the business is just off the road. There it is. Not really a park out the front, which is annoying. A bit more damage to the car, that's okay. Alright, let's unload. Get the hand trolley and I will... Oh, try again? No, 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 no. Get the trolley. Get the fridge. Cans. I'll have to come back and make two trips, so that's fine. Okay, here's my employee. Doing a great job. Gonna run out and get awful customer service. That isn't what we like to hear. Alright, let's get this fridge out of there. Why does already filled it up? Way to go! But this isn't just enough to oh, make them happy. Automatic. As you can hear, they think your walls and floors are ugly. And you know what? I kind of agree. There we go. Drinks for each. Stocked. Gifts stocked. Oh, I didn't get paper bags, but I do have plenty of those. It's quiet and ugly in here. <sighs> Alright, let's follow Uncle Fred's objectives. Increase walls and floor score to 20%. So... <sighs> I don't want to break the bank on this, do I really? <sighs> how do I... how do I know? Okay, so just, just painting them any colour will... Will work, I guess. Oh, nice red. There we go. So we're already up to where did I see that? Sixteen percent. Forty-four percent. Now that is an attractive store. 
Does this room count? It does, actually. That's a bit of a waste of money, but... I'll just creep that score a little bit higher. 62% now, okay. Oh, cancel, no one will apply. $2,600 to do that, but that's fine. Excuse me, they're not ugly, they're 60% good. Hey kid, I talked with a good friend yesterday. Name is Gary. He owns a drive-in wholesale store down in the industrial area. They sell stuff in big chunks, but a lot cheaper. You should bring a car. It's too far to walk. Fair enough. What am I... Off customer service? What are you saying? This guy is a legend to customer service. Isn't he? Well, he's 46% he's good at customer service. Oh, I can train him, but I'll have to take him off duty. I'm going to mop because uh, mm. these people are filthy. Mm. Alright, so I need to go to the drive-in bulk store. I just don't know why yet. Uh, discard that. Better make sure it's still open. What time is it? It's three o'clock. Oh, careful, I'm walking here. I'm in New York, so I think I'm legally obligated to say that every time. I mean, like that happens. So apologies if uh, I've already said it a few times. I'm sure you understand. So NY Distro. Here it is. Let's sneak on in there. Enter. We're in. All right, back to your customers. You're yes. always complaining, customers, right? <laughs> Look, you don't said worry. it, pal. Eventually, they'll be happy, and so will your bank account. But right now, we do have two problems. The customer service level of your employee, and their lack of a uniform. Uh, he has a uniform, Uncle Fred. Are you not paying attention? Alright, what am I- I'm actually buying anything here. I suppose I will get those paper bags I was looking for. I was put them in the car. What else? Bellard, ice cream. So I can get soft drink and gifts here, so it's probably a lot more economical. I actually wasn't paying attention to the price, so I don't know that for sure. I shouldn't assume I can get gifts here. Oh, wait, no, there it is, right there. Eight hundred dollars for two hundred pieces. I don't. I'll have to go back and check what I was paying earlier. If this works out cheaper, then happy days. What else can I get? Phones, fish, cigars, wine, clothing, jewellery, whiskey. Okay. Cool. So what I might need to do is I'll unassign our employee, train him up, I'll work the extra shift. Maybe tomorrow. Whoa. And uh, we'll get him up 50%, then people will stop complaining about their horrible, horrible customer service. Where am I in relation to my store? One block over. Oof. There it is. Alright, we'll park, you get the storage out. Alright, get the items out of storage, should say. And just run them across. The store is closed. Pop this trolley back in the car, so it's good to hold on to one. 
I'm gonna run home and do the rest of my obje objectives from there, I think. People still just laying on the footpath, no worries. Uh, okay. His man. Alright, where's my schedule? Jason. Uh, you're done. You're not done, done. You're just gone for some training. Be unassigned from any business. I'll just take him off there. There we go. Costs $350 for one day. That's fine. I can certainly cover that. So, saying the gift is open. Well, it's Saturday today, so it's actually closed tomorrow. Well, that's okay. Actually, you know what? Well, well, wouldn't I work? May as well. Do a little snooze, wake up at uh, 7.20. So I'm going to be quite hungry. Now I'll get over here and get to work. That might give me a few minutes just to make sure the floors are clean and this, the shelves are stocked. Cheap gifts. Here. And cans. Over in three minutes. Give this a quick wipe down. That'll do. Start working. I'll skip the day. I probably should have stayed to see if people were still complaining, but uh, that's okay. But it is now four o'clock on a Sunday. I wonder whether I should send him for two days of training just to really um, get him up to speed. Don't mind working an extra day. Need to restock a few things. I wonder if I can do that with the trolley. I don't know. I should have checked. We'll get that ready. Done. And I'll get the paper bags in the register as well. Done. Righto. Floors are clean. Shop is stocked. to run home. Hey, okay. so Jason finished his training this afternoon, which is very good. His customer service skill is now 56%. His hourly wage has also gone up a dollar. You know what, buddy? I'm going to invest in you. Let's just have a little, uh, Go again. Making good profit. That more than pays for his training, which is nice. I need to go shopping as well. I'm almost out of food, I think. Only had about four meals left. But that can I'll do that after work maybe. Alright, we're back in. It is half past seven. Floors are clean. Oops. Shelves are stopped. Now my rival's going. He's, he's pulling 60 million a week, this guy. He's number one. I'm pulling three a big 3.5k. That's why they're threatened. That's why I'm the, the next big up-and-comer. All these posers, they don't know what they're doing. Alright, let's start working. I will fast forward and let's see what these customers have to say. Yeah, so all these customers that are... Here we go. I missed, missed what they said. Aha. Uh -huh. 
Okay, we need music. They're complaining about the music, or the lack of, which is fair. I think that was a complaint about music as well, but no one's complaining about the customer service, no one's complaining about the, the ugliness. That's fine. I'll skip time. We will get our uh, little buddy back to help tomorrow. Gonna get the gifts, gonna get the cans, gonna get the bags. See if I can just do this all in one go. I can, that's much better. Uh, and once he's done that, I can go, presumably go shopping and buy something, like a radio, stereo, or something, just to get some music pumping in here. Because people want to feel good when they're spending $20 on a mug in a store that sells nothing but mugs and random cans of soft drink. Okay, so he'll finish his training today, so I can reassign him no dramas. Pretty sure this was the supermarket corner, wasn't it? Was. Get some fresh, get some frozen. Okay, Jason has finished his training. I'll run this back and then I will assign him and then I'll figure out how I can get other benefits or niceties to have, like the, the radio. There might be some other things I can put in the store as well that will make customers happier. But I don't remember seeing them in the stores I've already been to, so there might be something else. Uh, pop that in there. I'll actually eat one of those now. And where is my buddy here, Jason? Get back on deck there, pal. And I'm going to actually just modify this schedule. We'll take Sunday off for the time being. Jason. There you are. Every day on the register. Sounds good. There you go, kiddo. Continue listening to your customers and keep improving. Keep improving. And by the way, you know you don't build an entire empire with just a gift shop, right? I think you should consider opening a new business. That said, you don't want to go rushing into something willy-nilly. You got to know what people want. There's an app for that. Market Insider app. See what people are looking for. Okay, so my next objective, complete the fundamentals of business administration course and then open the Market Insider app and sort the list by demand, find the most demanded product. That makes sense. So I'll sleep until nice and early in the morning. I'm guessing I'm going to have to go back to the, the business school and do another course, which is good. Have a little bite to eat there. I guess the uh, the music situation in the store can wait until afterwards. I should have taken my car. Then again, the way I drive, it's probably safer and cheaper just to leave it at home for the moment. I don't have to spring for car repairs <laughs> right now. All right, uh, what I'm doing? Fundamentals of business administration. Let's go. Start studying. So we've got 24 hours of study. I can do, I can do 13 hours. That'd be a good day, wouldn't it? Just 13 hours of straight study. No energy, no food, not happy. But I've smashed out more than half of my course in one sitting, so that's something. I don't think I can carry food with me as well. I, I thought that might be a good uh, good idea to have something in, in your pocket, but it looks like that's not possible. Alright, eat the food. Go to bed. Wake up at seven. That wasn't very profitable for a day. 
I suppose, yeah. Sort of stuff. Maybe working full time now. Ah, I've got to eat. I'm just going to pop in here and just make sure everything is stocked and clean. Not. Uh, what do we need? Gifts, cans, bags. I would have thought he could have done that, but uh, not quite sure how that would work. I mean, the cleaning I know is a separate uh -huh. shift. Surely this guy could stack a shelf. We've got like five customers a day. Alright, good luck. And off I go. Complete this course and then look at the market inside an app so I can see what's in demand and see what might be uh, a wise decision for my next business. Good news is, I only need to study for 11 hours this time, so let's get that out of the way. Bam. I'm educated. Making general profit on the business, but uh, my money is dwindling. All this training and uh, new furniture and stuff probably is not helping, so. Hopefully, we can make a bit more profit and just arrest that. Uh, now I can see the Market Insider app. Demand. Okay. Huge demand for gifts. So I'm selling cheap gifts. It looks like there's demand for expensive gifts. So that's a no-brainer for expansion. Also expensive jewelry. Which is interesting. Phone, haircuts, ice cream, smartwatches. Got plenty of demand for gifts. Cheap gifts, which is good. Pizza, hot dogs. So I can sell gifts, hot dogs, haircuts, and... Jewelry and people will just lap it up. Morris Brown opened Evil Genius Electronic Store. Madge Kaiser opened Slider Shack. Ryan Fontenot opened Precious Sparkles. Jewelry Store. Hmm. Okay. So what do I know? Now, you Red. know. In business, we always research a market before we go into it, okay? Finally, before you start your next business, make sure you find a building with a high traffic index. Serving high demand products, combined with an address seeing a lot of foot traffic, means high revenue. All right, find and rent a retail building with a traffic index of at least 30 and set the business type to fast food. Buy an industrial grill and cabinet, place the cabinet in the store. Stock up with burgers. Fulfill all business requirements and open the new business by turning off temporarily closed. Okay. Is that wise? Do you think? I mean, I have to do it for the objective. But I could expand my gift empire. There's still a huge demand for gifts. Alright, let's look for a retail with a traffic index of 30 15 30 15 is there a filter for traffic index no fifteen that looks like it will be one of these
Jessica Johnson owns all these buildings. I don't know who that is. Hopefully it's not a competitor, because they might say no. But I guess this has to be it. $82 rent. But it has the requirements we need. Hold on. Hold on, hold on. Graphic index of 30. Ah, oh, that's this. I was looking at that. That's capacity. There you go. So that's traffic index 31. Might be a bit cheaper. Oh, is that already a business or the wrong thing? Yeah. Ugh. Did the wrong thing because this one is hiding. Oh no, not quite high enough. Hmm. Alright. I guess this will have to do. Nice corner spot. Let's just go for it, I suppose. It's just a high initial outlay, isn't it? I've only got 14k left. I'm going to need to pay this and then buy all the equipment I need, but here's what it is. We'll rent that building out. We'll start a new business. It will be a fast food restaurant. We're going to call it Saint Leberg. Saint Leberg's. St. Lidbergs, there we go. Start the business. It is temporarily closed. The logo needs to be the St. Lidberg, a red one. There we go, that can be red as well. No, oh no, it certainly cannot. Perfect, beautiful. Industrial grill and cabinet. Get in the car. Hopefully that's all there at Square Appliances. Doing a legal U-turn. Cross double lines, but hey. I don't have time to listen to road laws. I've got a business to run. Oops, oh no, my car's nearly dead. That took a huge chunk of <laughs> condition off it. I want 13% left. Business is closed. Ah, oh, two hours. Oh, no time for this. Uh, rest for an hour and 10, an hour and 15 ish. There we go. Okay, give me a. Industrial grill, 1400, and a cabinet. Uh, do I need a, a cash register? Aha. I guess. Storage shelf would be good. Is one grill enough? Salad bar, fridge. Surely get a drinks fridge in a burger shop too. Um, I need to make two trips. Excuse me. I mean, I'm going to need to get this stuff anyway, right? So I may as well. Large drinks fridge, eh? Uh, I'll stick with a small one to start with. Concerning that I am down to $6,000 though. And I still need to buy stock and hire a staff member and train them and paint the walls. this masterful parking job right here. Never mind the smoke. 
be living out of the car. I'm pretty sure that's normal. It's a New York thing, you wouldn't understand. Real cabinet, cash register, storage shelf, let's go. It's quite a big store. Real. Uh, cabinet. Register. Storage. Do it that way, right? Oh, I didn't get a cleaning station. Ugh. That was at the same place, wasn't it? Central perk. Hold on. Hold on. You can't just do that. <laughs> oh, hang on. This is New York. Is that is that the original one? What's the one uh, Friends was inspired by? I see. Please park. So I need a cleaning station. Please. There it is. I don't think I need shopping trolleys. It's a, it's a burger store. So I'll leave that there. Load up the car. Make my way to the drive through wholesaler. Stock up on burgers. Soda, cans, paper bags. I wonder. Uh, so I would like to ex expand into. Oh, jeez. Hey, whoa. Just saw an absolute bingle. Um, I would like to expand into expensive gifts. I don't know. I have the money for that right now. I'll skip Metro Wholesale, I'll go straight to the drive through. Whoa. I'm gonna drive on the wrong side of the road. My next accident could literally blow up my car, so I'll try and be careful. Can I grab this? No, I need to get out. Paper bag. Couple of sodas. Fresh food and frozen food. I wonder if I can just take that home and eat it. There's the burgers. Cup of coffee. I have burgers and coffee. Sorry? Two hand trucks. I put that down. This car. Got a drinks fridge, cleaning station, paper bags, soft drink, burgers. So, that'll give me enough to get the store stocked. Oh, jeez. Get the store up and running and stocked. Ending a staff member. Need to sneak into this park here. There we go. Get the hand truck out and get bridge some of the stock in the cleaning station and bring them in. Drinks fridge. Cleaning station. Oh. 
bridge is already stopped. That's good. Take the last of this stock. rest on this shelf. There we go. So we're basically ready to run as soon as we get some staff. But there was just a little icon on the burgers there, wasn't there? I just might see what that meant. This item is not monitored by security cameras. Oh, okay. Missing requirements placed on a cabinet. You're kidding. I need to buy another cabinet. It's six o'clock in the afternoon. Oh, so it's four o'clock. Might have time. Try not to die. Might have to emergency park on the footpath just to, uh... Oh, no, 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 no. Stop, 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 stop. Oh, you bastard. Some of us have places to be, you know. Alright, emergency park, that'll do. I risk a I risk the fine. I need a cabinet. Let's go. Ah, oh, they got me. Yep, I think I got a ticket. Bloody police state. I wonder if this game simulates the uh, sovereign citizen experience, you know, I'm not a... I'm, I wasn't driving, I was travelling. I don't abide by your law system, so therefore you cannot give me a parking ticket. It just straight up does not apply to me, I'm sorry. There we go. Open the new business. I don't I don't want to work here. Do I? I guess. I'll leave my car there. Oh no. <laughs> I'm stopping traffic. I need to talk to the recruitment agency again. $125. Bloody rot. Oh sh Please loot, please move. Oh no. Oh no. Let me out. I got 5%. Oh no. <laughs> I was just going to try and turn around so I could park it, but uh... crap. All right. Oh no, you can't park there. Uh oh. Please sit in the vehicle you want and then call back to you. Transport to closest repair. $500. Does that include repairs? No. <laughs> $1,200. Oh my goodness. That's an expensive uh, little excursion. Where the hell am I? All right. All right, so we've learned our lesson. Car repairs are expensive. Continue to run red lights. Careful. There we go.
I'm a motorist. Alright, so this business, when is it going to open? Bentley Bergs. No, I don't think we want to work Mondays. We want to work the weekend, right? Why not? We'll open. It's from 8 to 4, which is... No, that's not how you run a burger shop. Come on. Do lunch till dinner. Maybe. Nope, that sounds good. It's open. You got two businesses now, huh? <laughs> I think that's what the media calls a serial entrepreneur. Very nice work. I'll let you get back to it, and I'll catch up with you later, kid. Thank you, Fred. All right, we're going to wake up. Clearing what time I said it's open. 12? Oof, that was a lean day. That was an expensive day. <laughs> got $4,000 left. Saintly gifts is dirty and needs to be cleaned. All right, I need to put on a cleaner as well if I can't get there every single day. But I think I have time today. Are you actually stuck on the shelves there, buddy? you figure that out. I'm not here to micromanage. I've full, you know, he's gone on two days worth of training courses. I think he knows how to stock a shell. I'm not going to micromanage. Going to have my have faith in my good employee, who I've given a two dollar per hour raise to, by the way. But if he's unhappy, well, you know what? Just going to have to deal with it. Nine thirty. You know what? Why not? That's at ten. I'm going to start working right now. We're open early. It's our first day. Come in and buy a Saintly Berg. Holy moly! What was the question? The complaint? No music. Probably no tables. <laughs> walked in, walked out because it's ugly. <laughs> Do they want us to sit on the floor? <laughs> yes, get out. Alright, let's give this shift. Clean this filth. Amazing that a gift store can get uh, just as messy as a, a burger shop with a grill just just out in the open. Discard that. I'm gonna grab all of this. There we go. Job done for another day. Curious to see whether this business actually made any money. If we're making decent money, I'll put on an employee. I'll hire a cleaner. Maybe two cleaners, two part-time cleaners. Anything goes. And I'll wake up at... Seven. Eight, sorry. All right. Okay. I made some so profit. So did you get a call from the bank? They must be shocked to see what's happening with your account while <laughs> the way it's growing. You should find yourself a nicer apartment and buy yourself some really nice furniture. You deserve it. Uh, don't have time for that. His man. Customer service is low. Excuse you. Interior is crap. Everything else is good. Okay, 
Plenty of stock there, which is nice. All right, well, I think that could be a successful little business. There was uh, you know, a bit of a demand for the fast food. I need to buy a desk, chair, and a computer from Ica. Place the desk in my apartment, attach the chair and computer to it, and then play video games for an hour. Oh well, you're the boss, Fred. I'm gonna buy some food as well because my fridge is getting low. And I need to clean saintly gifts because, well, it's pe people are filthy. Put it that way. But I suppose that will end another day here. So uh, I'll wrap this episode up. Thank you for watching. Um, again, if this is something you like and want to see more of, yeah, consider subscribing. It helps me out a lot. keeps you informed when new videos drop. I do intend to make this into an ongoing series. So if that's something you want to see, please let me know. Uh, and also, if you want to get involved, you know, leave your, leave your feedback, leave your suggestions. Do you want me to open a certain kind of business? Do you want to be, do you want an employee named after you? you let me know and we'll, we'll make it happen. Um, and I do also cover other indie games and things like that as well. So if there are any games on your radar that you'd like me to check out, also let me know in the comments. I'll do my best to get back to every one of you and try out any and all kinds of games that you have available. So with that said, thanks for watching. I'm Faintly Saintly and I will see you next time. Cheers.